I wanted to bring something up that's of interest. We, as I've been reporting in my case, is about having just 80 assembly members. We've had 80 assembly members since uh, 1854, when the population of the state was about 207,000. And today, well, I, sh I shouldn't say today, I go to January 1st, 2009, when we had 38,351,000, which means each rep in the assembly has 479,000 people. So one of the aspects of my lawsuit, which when I bring it out, people, it's just really eye-opening, is the number of committees and the number of jurisdictions these assembly members uh, sit on. So not only the effects are that you and I don't have the ability to meet with them, and obviously certain people do, but the issues that they oversee, that's the massive that's such a that's such a glaring point and this is 80 assemblymen same number we had 155 years ago when i think they only had what six subcommittees oh i you know what to tell you the truth i haven't even looked at you the didn't look there. that up no not then well i was looking i think they had six subcommittees really 155 years ago now we have how many subcommittees uh 250 250 subcommittees so three times as many as we have as reps. we have assemblymen <laughs> Yeah. So how many committees do these guys? Read the list. Okay, so I'm just going to go over, and this is last session. I haven't been able to look at this new session. I uh, just had the data right. put together. But in the last session, uh, I picked one gentleman out, Mr. Curran Price. I'm not picking on Mr. Curran Price. Uh, I have nothing against him per personally other than the fact I just, he's the one who had the absolute worst. So Curran P Price, and this is right out of my lawsuit, who sits on the Business and Professionals Committee, also sits on the Elections and Redistricting Committee, the Government Organization, J uh, Jobs and Economic Development, Utilities, Legislative Ethics, Select Committee of Procurement, and the Census. Those are the committees. He is charged with overseeing, and I've got it in one of the addendums, Consumer Protection, Department of Consumer Affairs, Occupational Licensing, Medical and Non-Medical, as well as Private, Post-Secondary, and Vocational Education, Elimination and Creation of Regulatory Agencies, Administrative Procurement, Office of Administrative Law, State Procurement, State and Local Property Procurement, Efficiency Cost Control, Charitable Solicitations, Product Labeling, Weights and Measures, Accuracy and Product Pricing, Elections, Redistricting, Public Records, for all 1,081 places in the state, natural disasters, tobacco products, procurement, census, business advocacy in California, business advocacy in the U.S., California-Mexico relations, California overseas trade, expansion of new technologies, economic disaster relief, economic impact reports, balance of trade issues, enterprise zones, expansion of overseas markets, foreign investment in California, forest foreign investment by Californians, information technology, industrial innovation and research, international trade, interstate commerce, and I shall shorten this as there are many more, notably including all the utilities, commerce matters, cable, tourism, and he's co-chair of the Ethics Committee. I counted at least 47 and then I, I kind of got fuzzy. And you say that isn't a complete list of no, what he's on? No, I shortened it. He's on more than that? Yes. I stopped counting at about 47 people. How can any one assemblyman, even if it was the best person you can think of, could they really do a good job on 47 different subcommittees? This was so bad. Uh... We need more assemblymen. And that's why you should pay attention to this lawsuit Michael Warkin's brought, it's called what? Uh, Warkin versus Schwarzenegger. Warkin versus Schwarzenegger. The U.S. House was supposed to, each member was supposed to represent three, uh, 30,000, and then each lower chamber to the, each state was supposed to be 10 to 1, so 3,000. So in the House of Representatives, which we only have 435, we really need 10,000? 10, 10,000. We need 10,000 congressmen. Lois Capps' district needs to be broken up into about 20. 20 or 22? 22, yeah. House of Rep districts. Yeah, well, it's No quick. wonder she doesn't pay any attention. Well, she can't, yeah. You know, she, she just, unless it's election time, you can't get her attention. So uh, yeah. I should bring it up that uh, the... So what's the least number of committees... The, 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 oh the, well, the least some assembly on the least number would be one, which is the uh, which is the speaker and the and the majority leader. You so know, they only so, serve on one yeah, but committee. they but they basically watch over all these things. But you know, in essence, nobody's looking over anything. And what's more interesting is my opposition. I, um, I filed my lawsuit. He filed a motion to dismiss. I filed an opposition. He filed a reply. And his reply, he asks. He doesn't move, but he asks. He suggests to the court that any mention of the reps. It should be stricken from the record. So <laughs> he didn't want this 
in there where I'm saying there's no way in God's good earth you can do your job. That's they didn't right. want that brought up. It, I mean, horrible. I, I, and there's one more. I, I mean, this one's this one's great also. Another matter of concern is uh, is water <laughs> as we're in a drought. Yet when we look to the uh, to the assembly, we see that there are only three persons on the water, parks, and wildlife committee. And we look at the oversight matters in the committee, uh, which shows numerous water boards. We can re reasonably conclude that three persons cannot oversee all these matters, especially when the other matters they are assigned to oversee. Uh, just the fact this committee in question oversees also parks and wildlife is of some concern. On top of uh, this, however, uh, I pick one person, Lois Walk. She also sits on numerous other uh, committees with sizable oversight, uh, which includes the banking committee, which oversees all the banks that do. Well, I mean, this has gone down a bit. <laughs> There's uh, obviously fewer banks, but, uh, you know, all the banks that do business in California. And it has, you know, 11 other members, which is sizable. But, you know, when you take into account that they're on dozens of committees themselves. Um, she also is on the budget committee, which has a healthy membership of 26. But from what the paper reports, the state's currently 15 billion in debt. And of course, I'm lying, right? Because we're really 40 billion in debt. And we're going to find out later that that number is actually even higher. Um, She's also on the Natural Resource Committee, which has nine members, which is above average. It oversees air quality, energy research, recycling, oil spills, state rivers, uh, forestry, ag lands, and open space conservation. So, I mean, you know, so these are two people that are overseeing dozens of matters. And when a matter happens in the state, Usually, it's the executive who looks into it, and then if he wants to move forward, he takes it in front of the courts. But the legislature, they also have the ability to hold hearings on these matters. Can they? Do no, they? they can't. In fact, they can't. So what ends up happening is the lobbyists come in, they write the bill they want, and they say, this is what you got to do. They don't have time to really have a hearing about it. They don't have time to, to say, oh, let me think about this. Oh, let's bring some witnesses. They don't have time because no. there's not enough of them. So they just take what the lobbyist says, this is the gospel, make it law, and they take it and they put their stamp of approval, they sign it, and they put it before yeah. the assembly. This is why the lobbyists are running our government, not well, we the people. Yeah, and the assembly, the assembly cl clearly cannot do its duties. It clearly cannot hold hearings into these matters. And I mean, these dozens of matters. I mean, you know, I've got just this graphic of, you know, they've increased it this, this session because we're in a drought. I think they have seven or nine members on the committee, but they had three. And I mean, there are 22 regional water boards. And I mean, so here we are, and that's San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and Ventura counties. Well, I mean, you know, Montecito's got its own water board. Uh, Goleta's got its own water board. Santa Barbara's got it. I mean, you know, so you have, last session, you have three members on, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the water board's wildlife and, uh, you know, it's just... It's impossible. It, There's no way three. They need more like about 300 on that, on that committee. I mean, that's ridiculous. What, what, I mean, that, that one fact, that one fact. Yeah. Three people. Last session sat on. Three people. Had three jurisdictions, and one of them was just water boards. That's, I mean, that's just ridiculous. I but, mean, there's so many water boards that, that really have a lot of multiple overlapping problems that give it to just three assemblymen. Is, yeah. And it's the, insane. And, and those people are on, on, you know. That's like saying, we're going to go to war. We're going to take our five best soldiers. Yeah. We're going to send them off to fight the whole war. They're going to be the Air Force. They're going to be the Navy. And they're going to be the Army. Yeah. No, I mean, it, this is insane. So, so and, and I noticed this a long time ago. 